The tone here is anxious and fearful, and that's accomplished through a few different devices. First, we have these very short sentences, um, and that uh, helps create um, a dramatic effect and builds up the tension. Secondly, notice the use of the present tense, uh, turning, freeze, wake, scuttles, and beats. All of these mean that for the reader, the action is happening at the moment. And so it helps put that reader into the moment itself, again, increasing the level of anxiety that the reader might be feeling. Moreover, there's a sense of, uh, of mystery of what's going to happen, and this could help to add to that uh, fearful tone. And that's created through these direct questions. Could it be? Could it be? What is it? Um, uh, now, it's these things in combination that create that. If we were to change this passage and, and change the verb tense, and make these uh, questions indirect questions, uh, like in the sample of the activity, you'll notice that the tone is much more neutral. There isn't that sense of impending disaster or something that we should be afraid of. It completely loses it.